Hello there, this is Joe Fugate, and I am putting together a quick video to update everyone on what in the world is going on because it's been a total mess here at Model Railroad Hobbyist. It started with a decision we made at a business meeting last month to move the magazine release to the 15th instead of the first of the month. What the news guys asked is that we change the issue closure deadline to the first of the month, which would be like February 1st for the February issue. So that allows to get an entire month of news, all of the January news, release news, into the February issue. So it makes it very timely. Otherwise, we close the issue the middle of January for February, then the last half of January news doesn't make it until the March issue. So it's now stale news. So that was the plan. Now it takes us about two weeks to produce a magazine and get it finished. Uh, there's a lot of different adjustments that need to be made on images. That all takes time. There's diagrams that go in the magazine. Each magazine has about 500 hyperlinks. A lot of them going to ads, for ads, going to advertisers. And believe you me, if we don't test every one of those and make sure they go where they need to go, we will hear about it if we get an ad link wrong. So it takes about two weeks. So February 1st, I'm the primary caregiver of my elderly mother. February 1st, she passed away. So it's like scramble, scramble, scramble to deal with... Uh, the passing of a parent. Uh, you know, all of the, there's just so much involved. If you've ever been the primary caregiver for an elderly parent, you know what it takes. So basically from the first to the ninth, a lot of hours away from the office. So we didn't really get a huge amount of progress done on the magazines between the first and the ninth. Some progress, but not total progress. So come the 10th, we said, okay, let's see what's left. And we said, we can probably get this all done by the 14th. And so we'll still make the 15th deadline. Later than we would have liked, but still make the 15th. So as they say, best laid plans, the evening of the 11th, a major ice storm of the century hit. Trees snapping, cracking breaking, falling, uh, 250,000, a quarter million people without power, no internet, uh, very nerve wracking, sitting in a dark house in a dark bed with no furnace and listening to trees. We live in a forested area. So listening to trees crack and break and fall all night long. And a couple of times, major crash, crack, and the house shook. So I went outside to see, with a flashlight, to see that a nine-inch branch had broken off of the tree, one of the trees over us. And it had just missed the roof of the house. Uh, it broke a few secondary branches off on our roof, which is what caused the house to shake. But the major body of the branch hit a fence and busted that down. So then the next morning, we went outside to find that one of the trees had snapped in, literally in half, halfway down the trunk, and fallen on a car, one of our cars, and had broken the back windshield out of the car. So that wasn't a fun discovery. Also found that several 12 inch branches had broken off of the trees in our yard and landed in the neighbor's field. Fortunately, there's not much out there, just a, pile, a wood pile. So, um, but a mess to clean up. Time to get out the chainsaw. But also we had another tree crack right in half, halfway up the trunk, and the top half of the tree fell on our neighbor's yard. Uh, so yeah, there are power outages everywhere, fiber optic circuits broken everywhere. E the ice storm even affected cell towers. So cell phone reception was spotty, no internet, no power, 
Uh, worst case scenario, we wouldn't have internet or power back for up to 10 days. So what do you do? Fortunately, we have gotten, today's the 15th, which is when we were supposed to release the magazines, unfortunately. But fortunately, we have power and internet again today. But we were still four days away from issue release. So we're now looking at the 19th to have MRH and running extra out. Now, what you can do as a reader to help us is the biggest bad news thing from not getting the magazines out on time is the advertisers who pay us big bucks to be in the magazine and to sponsor MRH. They're not getting the ad exposure that they paid for. And so what you can do as a reader to help us is this time when the issues finally release around the 19th, please pay special attention to the ads in this issue. And if there's anything that looks even remotely interesting to you, click on it. And if you see anything that, if, if you've been thinking about buying some things and any of the stuff you click on is something that you might have been thinking about buying, if you could go ahead and see the way clear to go ahead and make a purchase, this time, clicking and buying from our advertisers this time, pay special, make a special note to try to do that, would really help make up for the fact that they're not getting the exposure they paid for this time. Now, to advertisers, we will be trying to help compensate you to some degree with uh, some free header banner ads or free email blast ads to sort of bolster up the exposure you were hoping to get. So that's the story, folks. Did not plan this, did not expect this. Uh, we hope that we can get back on schedule by March. So we'll be back to a mid-month release now. So it'll be March 15th for the March issue, April 15th for the April issue, and so on. And barring no more nasty surprises, we should be back on schedule to the now mid-month release. So thank you for understanding. It's been really crazy here.